In the 1700s, this portion of the Ohio River, where it intersects with Little Beaver Creek, was known by French explorers as the River of Pictures because of the hundreds of petroglyphs carved into the limestone riverbed by Native Americans. The petroglyphs became inundated after several dams were installed in the 1920s. Since then, water levels have only fallen low enough for them to be seen on a few occasions. But not all was lost. October 16, 1908. In 1908, Harold Barth, an East Liverpool resident, spent a year transferring the carvings onto paper. Today, many of them are housed in large rolls at the Museum of Ceramics in East Liverpool. Susan Weaver is the director. Harold Barth was uh, a wonderful collector of items. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have this wonderful collection. Swagger number 13, Browns Island. The imprints were made at sites in Midland, Browns Island, Babs Island, Smith's Ferry, and Wellsville. When I found out we had this collection of these petroglyphs, I was just amazed because uh, I don't remember learning a lot about Native Americans in, in school and that, and to think we had that collection here, I just thought it was pretty awesome. And pretty much have been packed away though all these years, so it's nice to see them get them out and take a look at them. The carvings depict animals, human figures, and symbols, but their true meaning will likely never be known. Scholars say they were carved sometime between 1200 and 1750 CE. Probably more mystery than there is history. Says Timothy Brooks, president of the East Liverpool Historical Society. People have been speculating about the petroglyphs for a couple hundred years now. But that's not to say some history doesn't exist. The site, just over the Ohio State line near East Liverpool, was displayed on Lewis Evans' 1755 map of North America, where it was labeled Antique Sculptures. It was also noted by French explorer Chassegros de Liri in 1739. They were noticed when uh, George Washington passed through the area in 1770. Since the exact date of the petroglyphs remains unknown, it's also difficult to say who created them. Candidates include the Mingo, Delaware, Shawnee, and Wyandotte peoples. While answers remain elusive, the 1908 imprints still provide an intriguing look at Native American culture in the area. I think people appreciated even then that, you know, this is, this is fleeting stuff and we better document it while we can. Hickey Metal Fabrication, family owned and proudly based in Salem for 75 years. We have state-of-the-art equipment and are ready to handle your start-to-finish fabrication needs.